And I'd love to welcome everybody back to the message here on the Independent Investor Channel. Uh, six years, going on seven years deep on uh, providing content to the greater social media audience. Um, this is typically where I'm best in my element. This will be a 30-minute spot on what I feel like is one of the best emerging categories in the investing space, specifically with what we do with the number one problem that we face now in recycling, and that is what to do with uh, waste plastic. Uh, it is not only an issue that we uh, are faced with here in North America, but globally, uh, the situation is dire. Uh, where a lot of these um, countries that are being subjected to being dumped on uh, with waste trash, and a lot of them have put the stop to that China, uh, most specifically, has really called into question, what do we do here in 2023 with our waste plastic? Many companies now are in the early innings of bringing their solutions forward. Uh, many solutions have uh, their positives and, and negatives. And for the grander investing community out there, I would highly encourage you to navigate this landscape with uh, some skepticism, because where there is going to be great opportunity uh, to not only uh, appreciate with some of these companies it's being so early, uh, a lot of hype has already uh, taken hold of some of these uh, initial companies on the onset. Um, you know, I, I I look at Pure Cycle, and I look at Cielo Waste, and I look at many others that have really got a boost because the excitement around the space is very very real. Um, with that said, we want to be calculative, we want to be careful, and we want to be deliberate with the information. We want to understand what each of these technologies bring to bear, uh, what they are trying to solve, um, what type of chemistry they're actually using um, to, to tackle this problem, and, and really more importantly, to make sure that they are being um, capital, capitally um, responsible. Um, I'm looking at companies right now that are investing hundreds of millions of dollars into building out infrastructure, um, that are looking to advance uh, technology that they don't even own. Uh, Aduro sports their hydrochemolytic uh, technology. For you guys that are interested in more information, I would encourage you to at least visit adurocleantech.com at least once uh, as an introduction, if it is your first time being introduced to this company and, and what they bring to the table uh, and what they're trying to do. Uh, Aduro has been around for uh, over 11 years now. The company in incepted in 2011. Uh, and um, the progress that's been made up to this point uh, has been relatively silent uh, until late. I was introduced to this company in uh, 2022, where I started to cover this opportunity. I took a look at it, and with any investor's um, lens that looks at small companies in the microcap space, you have to really look at these with a deliberate lens, and you need to look at them carefully um, because there's not a company in the OTC markets that has, doesn't have the best story going out there, and they'll sell you all day on that best story, uh, only to find themselves... Um, uh, enjoying a little bit of hype, uh, only to see that hype die off over time. And then the merits of the company have to stand on their own. Uh, Aduro has been on a, a little bit different trajectory. I just recently caught a, a news article through U Yahoo Finance that discussed the top 12 recycling companies. And Aduro was not named in that top 12. It speaks a little bit to why I'm doing this project, and Aduro will be my focus for every Sunday now uh, going forward. We will spend about a half hour every single weekend talking about this company and what they do, uh, what they are doing, and more importantly, what it could mean for you. Uh, if you're not interested in the plastic recycling space, 
if you're not interested in understanding what the circular economy could potentially mean and why there is so much frenzy in this space, then this topic is not for you. If you don't have 30 minutes to to sit and, and listen to me deliberate around this topic, it's certainly welcome to to kick off and 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 go find what it is that you do. But I would caution you uh, on a couple of things. With the emergence of social media nowadays, it is very possible uh, that opportunities are going to be brought to you um, through the power of your iPhone or your Android, your smartphone that <clears throat> require or demand ample attention. I mean, 20 years ago, we did not have the opportunity to share information the way we do now. And since I have done social media now for going on seven years, it has been become very apparent to me that many of my opportunities through my network have been made possible via referral. We look to provide that referral to you. Now, this could go one of two different ways. Either you take the referral, you look at the opportunity, and you decide that it's not for you. That is totally fine. My intent here is only to pay forward that referral for you to take action on that referral, not for me to um, uh, influence you in any way to take action on that said referral, merely to suggest that the referral could be very exciting and worth taking a look at. The second is that you take this referral and you look at it from the prism of uh, you would have never understood that this company existed until it was too late. My friends, we are knocking on the door of opportunity here and are up against a precipice of potentially potentially catal catalyst stock moving information, both specifically in a program that Aduro has been involved with over the last 12 months with Shell Oil. The Game Changer program um, is earmarked to provide at least a status update. Uh, the uh, attributes of that update are yet to be understood um, but are set to be released here in December, and we eagerly await, await those um, those results. Second, uh, a major petrochemical player uh, in the space, a global company, has just upped their ante with Aduro and their customer engagement program and looking to further their technology. There is some speculation online about who that petrochemical company could be. Uh, I will not disclose uh, who that is uh, on these forums until that is released by Aduro specifically. I want to allow and protect the integrity of that relationship and the goings-on. I'm just excited by the prospects that new customers are coming in and looking at this, and we're getting multiple forms of validation over the hydrochemolytic technology. That might be a lot of your guys' hesitation as to maybe you guys come to this and you're introduced to it. And you don't know a lot about the stock market. You don't know a lot about how you could even get involved in a company like this, why you're even sitting across from a message like this uh, as I'm introducing it to you. Aduro has got over $50 million plus in the development of this uh, hydrochemolytic technology. Uh, for you guys, again, for the first introduction, they sport being able to recycle with extremely high levels of efficiency, the traditionally hard to recycle plastic, polypropylene, the polyethylene and polystyrene, the majority of which typically and historically has ended up in our landfills and our oceans. It has taken the development and multiple patents registrations for Adoro to be sitting here in 2023, reporting out to you that Adoro in 2023, uh, as disclosed at the beginning of the year by the president, CEO, and co-founder Ofer Vikas, that 2023 was going to be kind of a transitional year for Adoro. I would expect that upper management and Ofer will 
in short order review the many progress uh, reports and news releases and advancements of the company uh, here shortly, probably going into next year. As Ofer is extremely forward leaning and extremely fair to share owners of the company that are following the story and are um, more importantly share owners in the company. Uh, he has expressed many, many times his um, his uh, his charge as the CEO to ensure that we're always continuing to drive for that share owner value. And I think that is absolutely aligned with uh, upper management, specifically with regard to their tier shareholder position in Aduro in that it is results-based. And two out of the three milestones for the share-based compensation has been awarded, but we are awaiting one last uh, milestone in the company's young evolution uh, to be met before those remaining uh, one-third of lockup shares uh, for the upper management is awarded. I think that speaks volumes to the credibility of the upper management to the alignment of upper management with the share structure and the company and their promise to share owners to advance this technology along a timeline that is careful, uh, deliberate, um, smartly executed, um, and is, 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 is communicated to share owners in a timely manner um, that allows share owners to really enjoy the progress of the company. Now, in 2023, the stock itself has been just uh, upgraded to the OTCQX markets. Um, that is the upper echelon, the top tier of microcap in the OTC uh, space. Uh, and I think it is a matter of time before Aduro meets that $100 million threshold uh, before it gets its first look for uplisting probably to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange here in the U.S. Be mindful, the company is based in Canada. And so my dialogue as you guys join in this uh, chat every single week is going to be centered around uh, the stock performance in USD, as well as my uh, referral of the stock ticker symbol ACTHF. All information will be pr provided in the description below. Another careful piece of um, logistics that I do want to disclose in this opening weekly remark from Aduro, uh, I'm doing this on my own accord. Um, this is not paid for content. Um, this is done on my own accord to discuss in a manner and a forum that I feel is going to convey uh, a different approach to Aduro. Uh, to discuss the psychology of 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 owning or pursuing a company like this, uh, what it could specifically mean, um, and what it definitely does not mean for me uh, in looking to generate hype. Uh, my shares in the company for you guys uh, and full disclosure is provided as well in the description. I sit on 28,000 shares. Um, that is a, a fairly small position based on some of the who's who in the network of who I know are involved with the Duro Clean Technologies. However, the, the voice on YouTube and so grander social media audience is not to be understated with regard to the opportunity that we have to uh, pay forward this opportunity. Now, when Aduro starts to gain favor in this market, um, the time and the necessity for people to take this first look is going to expire. Uh, and I think in some small fashion, Aduro has actually begun that acceleration starting uh, with the announcement of the Game Changer program last fall in 2022. Uh, and has close to doubled over that same time period. I started covering the stock when it was trading at 52 cents. Uh, it is now trading north of 80 cents here in the um, U.S., I believe approaching 90 cents at the time of shooting this video. Somewhat irrelevant at this point because the volume that Aduro, albeit is improving day to day, um, is not anywhere near reflective of a company that has been discovered. My friends, this company is undiscovered. Um, it does not exist. It is not on anybody's radar. Uh, it is on the who's who and the player of actually putting this chemistry to the rigor 
But as far as the grander uh, institutional uh, uh, organizations out there, and specifically a very, very powerful uh, segment of the investing market is in fact retail investors. So the more understanding you can have around why I'm doing this project and why I'm looking to generate awareness around this company and no more, quite frankly, um, you guys can understand that if if I got on to social media and I talked about owning the stock for two weeks, and not giving you any type of understanding about what the position means to me, what it could potentially mean for my portfolio, and and where we expect the company to to go into the future, uh, I'm long the shares. Um, I just uh, my share block and and position just went over 365 days owned, um, outside of a small 500 share position that I owned uh, uh, bought just about a month or two ago. Um, on one small dip that I saw the company go on a very natural dip down close to the 70 cent range, which was my cost basis for the the stock. So I decided to go ahead and put 500 more into the company. Uh, but for the 27,500 remaining shares, those shares are long um, and they will continue to be long and will continue to reevaluate uh, as the company progresses. Uh, as we look to earmark 2026 at the at the earliest and probably 2027 more realistically for Aduro to be uh, looking to exercise along either of their two rev revenue generating paths. So the first being to partner with industry in the same capacity, I expect they're looking to partner with the large petrochemical companies. And that is to have them build out the infrastructure that they need, deploy the technology at their respective facilities and earn revenue that way. The second being uh, the technology licensing model, which I think is probably the more appropriate route for a Duro. I'd like to see both of them transpire over the next couple of years as they're able to really scale up this technology. Um, right now, they're in the, the the midst of understanding how well the technology performs over contaminated plastic. That was the last phase, phase four of the Game Changer program that we were, um, we were led uh, to, to understand. So very, very exciting times. But the idea here, and even since being involved with the company, I've watched the technology go from a very anemic third-party validation and bench scale to what it is now uh, in its customer engagement phase in creating uh, some pretty sizable amounts of proof uh, through their reactor systems uh, to really demonstrate the power of the technology, okay? Another thing that you guys need to understand about the technology itself, and all of this you can read about on Aduro's website, um, I'm going to be the facilitator of this message, uh, and we are going to share those specific pieces of information where you can go and you can verify for yourself why it is Aduro is so exciting when compared to uh, and in contrast to what Yahoo Finance would suggest is the top 12 and not to include Aduro in that discussion, it really speaks to the unawareness uh, of the author to actually name 12 companies and not aim a, uh, and not name Aduro in that conversation, which I feel like is um, pr pretty rich uh, in that in that Aduro sports a technology that has very low temperature, very low energy input. Um, the waste and byproduct that is created, um, the amount of additive that has to be added to uh, the technology to render an output in a way that allows Aduro to tweak the technology uh, in a, a way that delivers to their customer what they want. Now, this was alluded to in the November 30 press release um, with this major petrochemical company that is upping their uh, research budget with Aduro by a modest 450% to further along the development and discovery with this technology. The beautiful thing about that is Aduro gets to stand side by side 
uh, and and make those uh, those tweaks to the chemistry to the most efficient output for that customer. And I think that really does set Aduro apart from the rest. Instead of creating a, a raw feedstock of pellets that may or may not have the original integrity or the desired integrity to be put back into the circular economy in new products. Aduro has the ability to tweak their input chemistry to 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 uh, efficiently produce that on the back end. So the low cost entry really speaks to um, the uh, simple approach um, that uh, Aduro sports when they are bringing this technology to bear. And it's going to be incumbent upon us to continue to uh, discuss the evolution of the technology as we move into 2024. And we close out what has been a transformational year for the company. As we move into 2024 and for the few remaining minutes of this uh, podcast and, and YouTube video, um, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel and follow the story. It is easier to dismiss a story when there's no hype behind it. And for the small inner circle of followers in the network of Aduro, we understand the opportunity exists right now. Um, it is not going to be in your best interest to try to time this thing and to try to catch this wave of momentum when it takes off. What I presume happening here uh, in some time in the future, whether it be 2024 or beyond, is a re-rating of the stock. Um, I think we're due for that uh, uh, now. I think we're overdue. Uh, so I do think that this could actually happen more in the short term than the medium to longer term. And when those re-ratings happen, guys, you're not going to buy the stock. It's just that simple. Um, it's impossible to acquire stock when it's gapping up unless you want to pay the elevated price for the stock. So if if you look at the latest uh, Arrowhead report on Aduro talking about a $4, $5 stock price on this, if you're interested in just waiting and 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 seeing that validation take hold in the marketplace, um, you you would be sorely mistaken in uh, foregoing a phenomenal opportunity to get in on the ground floor. Right now, the company is unknown. Um, it has been evolving for ten years plus. There is fifty million dollars that has been put into the technology, and maybe more. Customer engagements are starting now. And we'll continue into 2024. The company's current market cap is sits around 65 million US, which is a far cry from the value of the value just over the technology itself, not to even give any credit whatsoever, but to discount their opportunity going forward, but to award a value over their technology. Uh, at a quarter million dollars, I don't think is 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 too uh, excuse me two hundred and fifty million is not out of the question, and so for the company and their opportunity to be valued here at sixty five, I think we're um, awaiting a re rate in the company, uh, and I think it could take some of those major catalysts, maybe improved on the top line. The company is starting to generate some customer engagement revenue, um, albeit fairly light right now. Look, guys, if the company was making $100 million a year, um, we wouldn't be talking about this as a ground floor company. We would be talking about it as a $30 or $40 stock. Okay. Um, and the reason why I am looking to convey this message for an undetermined amount of time going forward uh, is because I think that opportunity is now. I think the opportunity is right now. And when the company ends up approaching that valuation that I think is more reflective of the opportunity with this company to start 1.5 billion, and that will start the clock on approaching the ultra long horizon that I have for Aduro in being a multi-billion dollar company with the verticals that they have with the company. Now I've hit a lot of wave tops in this video. I've discussed the location of where you can get more information, aducleantechnology.com. It's aducleantech.com. I've left the link in the description for you guys so you can kick over there, check out their latest investor presentation, 
check out the new additions to the upper management, to go in, read the dossier on each of the upper management and what they bring to the table. There's been some phenomenal additions to the team here in 2023. And I expect those additions to the team to pay dividends in 2024. What is it to expect? I continue. I expect continued outperformance of the stock. I expect a stock that um, does, in fact, breach that one dollar, two dollar, and three dollar mark in 2024. Um, that is presumptuous on my part, so take that what you will. But that is absolutely what I feel we have pending with regard to a re-rate, and I think I'm being fairly conservative with those estimates. Um, the true value of the company right now is over $5 US. It's just that simple. Um, the fact that the stock market doesn't see it my way doesn't mean I'm wrong. Um, I presume I'm right. Uh, so the, the re-rating of the company is something that we're going to pay close attention to in 2024. The approach of a $100 million market cap uh, the ability of Aduro to generate some level of top-end revenue uh, on their customer engagement program, and the finalization, if not a final uh, summary announcement of the Game Changer program from Shell Oil, what that could potentially mean, uh, where Aduro goes from here, if if they're, they are a takeover target, whether or not the upper management would entertain uh, any type of uh, discussions along those lines, I'm certain that they would be in line with the best interest of share owners and where Aduro's technology can be best put to use globally. Uh, and then finally, the uh, results of this latest announcement here, uh, moving into expanded customer engagement phases with the unknown petrochemical company, global petrochemical company, that was just here recently released uh, through the um, the latest press release. Uh, so exciting times, guys. I really appreciate you. I would invite you to subscribe to the channel here. If you like these videos, this will be my new installation for Sunday morning. If you enjoy the content and want to uh, be plumbed in to these discussions, uh, some of these discussions may end up being live. They may end up having visitors. Uh, but if not, I enjoy talking about stock and more importantly, to revolve around the opportunity that could exist now in 2023 with regard to opportunities that you would have never been privy to had it not been for the power of referral through social media and the opportunity to for you to be brought to this opportunity and more importantly, act upon it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the totality of the video and good luck in your investment future.